welcome back everybody we are on no man's land here on the heavy metal gaming channel doing a little bit of uh, cultivating if you remember the last time we were here I had a course play worker going in this field getting it all plowed up and oops we are going through it now uh, with the discs to break that up and make an even better seed bed and also to clean up all the edges where I overlapped the field with landscaping fixes. Because uh, the plow did a really bad job of the edge. And so I went in and I fixed it with landscaping. horrible corner on my part, so we're just going to correct it by spinning around here. So what I am going to do is get this going here. Uh, and basically I'm going to put you guys into an early time lapse, and then we are going to jump cut to skip some time. need to be able to seed grass at some point here, so we will have to look into that and when that can be done. Can I do that in February? I really don't think I can. Grass. Yeah, not until March. So we're going to be skipping at least March because we're going to seed this field in with grass. So after the time lapse, I'm going to bring you guys back in March, or if there's anything significant that I find that needs done before we get there, uh, you know, I'm not going to bring you back for feeding and watering the animals and all that sort of stuff you guys have seen a million times. Oh wait, you've probably seen it all a million times at this point, right? I mean, if you watch Farm Sim, it, it is pretty repetitive. Uh, I personally watch it because I... It's the same reason I play it. I find it very, um, I think the word is cathartic. I'm going to look that up real quick. Pretty sure that's the correct word. Let's see. Cathartic. No. Sort of. Um, cathartic says providing psychological relief through the open expression of strong emotions. Um, that's not really what I meant. Uh, I'm just going to go with the more common word of relaxing, because that's what I I find it. I find it relaxing, soothing, calming, all of those things. And especially after a stressful day at work, or even just a busy day combined between work and uh, taking care of my home and property. Um, Know, if there's been a lot going on, it can still stress you out, whether it's tedious, bothersome stuff or difficult stuff at work or whatever. Um, and so that that's why I watch it, personally. I don't know about you guys, but it helps me get through and get to sleep, actually. So anyway, that's enough of me chitter-chattering and, as Mr. Sealy P would call it, waffling. Um, I am going to get on to that time lapse, and I will see you guys in March. Okay, bringing you back briefly so that you can see what's going on here. We have, I've 
spent a little money because I repaired the tractor. Um, I decided I wanted GPS on it. And at the same time, I decided I would do the big horsepower upgrade to go from 225 up to 325. Um, and while I'm at it, adding wide tires with wheel weights. Uh, sticking with my Michelins, of course. So that's going to run us $68,200. Ouch. That is a serious kick in the pocketbook. And if I decide to add the front loader bracket, it becomes 69700 which I'm going to put the bracket on it. That way I can just, if in the future, if I want, I can easily just grab an arm and run with it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's painful. So we're going to customize that. And, uh, jump back in and head back to where I left you at the, uh, end of the, whoops, forgot I customized it. So I got to rehook everything. Do that real quick. All right. Oops. I will see you back over at the field.
But then again, so do I. That a good wash. We'll park this across the way with our other implements and whatnot. At some point, we're going to make a nice gravel yard and uh, plunk down another shed. This one, a larger one for uh, implements. Probably right back here next to the tree line although that's kind of a big slope we'd have to we'd have to do some groundwork there uh, to make that happen but that's fine we can definitely do that alrighty park that up there jump out get her detached Oh, oh, I already shut down. Never mind. Because the next thing we're going to do is get the little old John Deere here out. This doesn't get a whole lot of work currently. I'm going to give it some. I think. Maybe not. Let's zoom in here. Look at something real quick here. That field is fully fertilized. So we do not want our course play worker. Which is, which is beyond. Oh, and I gotta fix that. Go away. Um, right there. Sewing machines use fertilizer. Turn it off. Uh, yeah, we don't want that. So let's drive down here because I don't have an auto drive to that field. Well, I don't have to any of the fields really set up yet. Um, I've got the auto drive route going past. But I haven't defined the field pull-offs yet. Okay, that's going to drive me nuts if I don't fix it, so... On past landscaping, painting, road mud. Go away. There's another one of those over here.
And another one right down here somewhere. Yeah. I don't know how those got there. I don't remember them being there when I made the roads. <laughs> but somehow magically they're there now. Um, now, as I mentioned earlier, we can't actually start doing this yet. I'm just staging the equipment. Getting the auto drive network set up. And then we're going to go skip some time. Delete. It says no course, so let's... I said auto drive, I meant course play. I am dork moment. Alright, so... Open and close the course generator. Not multiple tools. That should be the correct width, I hope. Field center, up and down. Rows to skip. Oh. Poop. Yeah, that'll be fine. That will be fine. Um, we'll skip two rows. Right, I'm missing some options because I'm not in advanced mode. I remembers that now. Um, there's somewhere in here for advanced mode. Expert mode. Stop telling me what I can and can't do. <laughs> I decided I wanted this on this side to start with. Which is fine. It'll just drive over there. Not a big deal. Um, am I supposed to start job when I haven't even created a job yet? Not giving me the course generator now. So let's deactivate that. Go back, create job, course play field work, starting here and here. That was weird. I don't know. Number of headwinds, zero. Rows to skip, two. Okay, and that was why I wanted expert mode. Great job. Course play field work. Okay, now it's working. I want this. Um, manual. Da -da 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 -da. Let that run for a minute. So what this does is it gives us the up-down direction as manual. And by setting it to zero, it makes it north and south. Mm -hmm. 
Boy, that is taking a really long time to generate. That has me concerned. I'm going to tab out and check the log. I can't even check the log because it will not properly tab out. All right, there it went, but that probably means that it generated no. Now it generated. Boy, that took a long time. I'm still going to look at the log real quick. Yeah. That was brutal. It took 140 generation tries. Each of them. Taking who knows how long. Dang. Now I wonder how much of that is my fault for doing skip rows. So if I take skip rows off, I'm testing, just testing theories here. Oh, yeah, that's taking a long time again. I should have just left it. <laughs> yeah, wow. So if you guys are using course play, just be aware that right now some courses take a very long time to generate and they will put a Lua memory error in your, uh, well not error, warning in your log file as well regarding the, the PlayStation 4, which isn't applicable because we're on PC. Um, so that course is no good you can see right here on the left edge it's going to try to cut through the woods that that will just break everything um so i'm gonna do so i'm gonna go back to automatic on that and i'm gonna I, i've always wanted to try some of these other settings so today's the experiment that's racetrack Spiral is hideous and goes way badly off on the left. I already know what Lands does. I actually kind of think that the racetrack looked the best. So we'll, we'll run with that. Ooh, maybe not. I just noticed down here in the right-hand side. Dang it. All right, so just up, down then, and generate it with automatic. 
Okay, perfect. We'll leave it. That was way faster. <laughs> so... Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll see you guys in March. Right? Isn't that what I said? Did I say March? Yeah, I said March. I'll... Welcome to March, everybody. <clears throat> Sun is in the sky. There's very few clouds. The grass is growing. And most importantly... We can plant grass. Uh, however... Ew, look at all the weeds. In three of our fields, they're full of weeds. Everything needs lime. So, uh, yeah. Let's cycle through here real... Oops, there we are. Damn it. Keep hitting buttons. I don't know how far the seed's going to go. We'll find out, won't we? So get that guy or gal. Gal. Going on that. And the planting should eliminate the weeds. And I'm going to just get rid of some toothpicks. Just to avoid any issues. And we don't really care about these toothpick trees anyway, do we? Now with my luck, even that won't be good enough. Just of course play workers are not the smartest. Where are you going? Case in point. Reverse for pathfinding. Enable the pathfinder during turns and turn off reversing. We'll see how that does for us. Here's the waypoint. Spin us around, get us lined up, and then have the worker take over again. That is better. It's really inefficient here in the tight space, short runs of the corner, but the AI will, yeah, will be fine out on the long runs. What is our job today? Our job today is to grab the weeder and get it going on another AI worker. 
Um, meter, right? It's the exact 600. Yeah, that's a weeder. Let's, um, put that on the gator. <laughs> I know, I'm a weirdo. that in reverse. Who leaves the vehicle in reverse? So, right. Never mind. I'm guilty. And I'm gonna need my three points for this, so... didn't work. I blame Tintin. He'll know why. And I guess for the rest of you, it's because he's done that a lot on his um, Island of Hope series. I think that's what it's called. It's his survival roleplay series. Gator rocks. Um. What the? <laughs> I didn't realize I did that. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Anyone else think maybe we might be in trouble? Um, I have a solution. I have a solution. Let's get some weight hanging off the front. I do have a surprise for you guys um, that will probably come out right around the same time as this video. I was hoping to actually get it into this video, but it is running long, so I'm going to have to record it as a separate thing in the morning. Um, rather than integrating. That still is not enough weight. And it just pushes. It pushes. Okay. Okay, that was a disaster. Uh, nothing to see here, folks. Moving on. Moving on. Nothing to see here. You, you didn't... Nope. 
You, you didn't just see me completely and utterly fail. Good plow. Yeah, she. Why am I going to weed these fields? Somebody tell me. Is there a point in me weeding these fields? No. No, there really actually isn't. Because, same thing with the other field. When I come over it with the cedar, the weeds will just go away. So, there's no real point in doing this. Looks like some of the weeds have moved on to the next stage anyway. Where we would need the hoe to pull them out. Or is that just because it's right on the edge? Right where the wheel is at too. We can test that. Anyway, as I was already stating, that is pointless. I don't know what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. case we're gonna drag this back to the farm and uh, get it washed sorry I had to itch my toe there grab me batty might be my cue that it's time to go to bed. <laughs> I think I will do that. And we can plant the rest of the grass off camera. Uh, I promise I won't skip planting the other two fields, which will be sorghum and... we get a corn header? I mean, we got this regular header. We did not get a corn header. Hmm. I would have liked to have gotten corn. We're just going to leave the mini right there. Alright, you guys, I do want to thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you on the next one.